Conditional formatting in Excel lets you highlight important data, spot trends and make your information easier to read. Many beginners find it tricky, but it's really simple. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be using conditional formatting like a pro. In Excel 2010 through Excel 365, you can find conditional formatting under the Home tab in the Styles group. Click on conditional formatting to see all other options. Let's start from a simple example. Suppose we have a table of student scores and you want to highlight scores less than 70. Here is how. Select the score column, go to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, then Highlight Sales Rules and select Less Than. Enter 70 in the dialog box and choose the formatting styles. Next, let's use data bars to visualize sales data for different products. Data bars add a colored bar inside the cells to show how large the value is. Here is how. Select the sales column, go to the home tab, click conditional formatting, then data bars and choose a style you like. Excel will add the data bars, making it easy to compare values at a glance. The next one is color scales. They use color gradients to show the range of values in your data. Let's apply this to a table of hours worked by employees. Select the hours worked column, go to the home tab, click conditional formatting, then color scales and choose a color scale. The cells will now have different colors based on their values, making it easy to see who worked the most and the least. Icon sets add small icons in your cells based on their values. This can be useful for tracking progress like in the task list. Select the progress column. Go to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, then Icon Set and choose an icon set. Icons will appear next to the values, providing a quick visual indicator of progress. Highlighting duplicates can help you find and resolve data issues. Select the ID column, go to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, then Highlight Cells Rules and select Duplicate Values. Choose a formatting style like Light Red Fill and click OK. You can also highlight entire rows based on the status of tasks. Select the entire table, go to the Home tab, Click Conditional Formatting, then New Rule. Select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Enter the formula. Use F4 to fixate your column only. Now rows with completed tasks are highlighted. Try these techniques in your own spreadsheets to make your data more meaningful. And also keep in mind that you can combine several rules. In the future videos, we'll cover some more advanced conditional formatting techniques, so stay tuned. See ya!